Hi students, welcome back to this video. Let us get started our new session. In order to create a positive frame of mind, here is an inspirational thought. Listen to this. If you are not willing to learn, no one can help you. If you are determined to learn, no one can stop you. Okay students. In this session, uh, we are going to study about general characteristic of the kingdom plantae, kingdom animalia and viruses, viroids, prions and lichens. Kingdom plantae includes all eukaryotic chlorophyll containing organisms commonly called plants. So uh, you will uh, study about the eukaryotic cell, structure of the eukaryotic cell in the chapter 8. Then cellulosic cell wall. Cell wall is made up of cellulose. Then they possess chlorophyll in order to do the process photosynthesis so that is the meaning of the sentence plants are called eukaryotic chlorophyll containing organisms with the cellulosic cell wall then few members are partially heterotrophs some of the members are uh, partially heterotrophs which are they they are first one is insectivorous plants and the second one is parasites two examples for insectivorous plants bladder wort and venus flytrap then example for a parasite is cascuta Plantae includes alga, bryophytes, pteridophytes, gymnosperms and angiosperms. In the next chapter, we are going to study about all these algae, bryophytes, pteridophytes, gymnosperms and angiosperms. Then what about their life cycle? The life cycle of plants has two distinct phases. What are the two distinct phases? Diploid sporophytic phase and haploid gametophytic phase. So this is the diploid sporophytic phase. Okay. And the other one is haploid gametophytic phase. So here we can see male gamete and female gamete okay so this uh, sporophytic phase and uh, gametophytic phase alternate with each other so this phenomenon is known as alternation of generation these phases alternate with each other so that uh, that phase is known as alternation of or this phenomenon is known as alternation of generation life cycle of plants has two phases first one is diploid uh, sporophytic phase and the haploid gametophytic phase we will study in detail about the sporophytic phase gametophytic phase etc in the coming uh, chapter Next is Kingdom Animalia. Animals are multicellular. They are heterotrophic, eukaryotic organisms without cell wall. In your lower grade, you have studied the differences between plant cell and animal cell. So animal cells do not possess cell wall. This was the one of the important difference between plant cell and 
animal cell. They directly or indirectly depend on plants for food. That is the first character. Then second one, they digest their food in an internal cavity and store food as glycogen or fat. Then what about their mode of nutrition? Their mode of nutrition is holozoic. Holozoic means by ingestion of food. They have a definite growth pattern and grow into adult that have a definite shape and size. Here you can see. Higher forms show sensory and neuromotor mechanism. Well developed nervous system, etc. Most of them are capable of locomotion. The sexual reproduction is by copulation of male and female, followed by embryological development. Okay, the next topic is viruses, viroids, prions, and lichens. All of you, once again, remind R.H. Vitaka's five kingdom classification. It includes kingdom Monera, Protista, kingdom Fungi, kingdom Animalia, and kingdom Plantae. So, uh, our, this classification includes only five kingdoms. What about these viruses, viroids, prions, and uh, lichens? They are not included in that classification. Why? What about their structure? All these things we are going to uh, study. Okay. They are not mentioned in five kingdom classification. These viruses, viroids, prions and lichens or lichens. Viruses, viroids and prions are non-cellular and not truly living. So they are not included in the classification. Viruses, viroids and prions are non-cellular and not truly living. So they are not included in the classification. From your examination point of view, uh, you have to give much importance for this sentence. Why are they not included in the uh, or why are they not mentioned in the five kingdom classifications? Then about this lichens we will study after this. So uh, what about these viruses? Here we have studied they are non-cellular. Then what about their structure? Here you can see viruses have an inert crystalline structure outside the living cell. This is the structure of the virus. They are obligate parasites. When they infect a cell, they take over the machinery of host cell to replicate themselves or killing the host. Even though they are non-cellular, how do they attack the living body? When they infect a cell, they take over the machinery of host cell to replicate themselves. The scientist Louis Pasteur gave the name virus. Its mean venom. Venom means poisonous fluid. D.J. Ivanovsky, 1892, discovered virus. He recognized certain microbes that cause mosaic disease of tobacco. They were smaller than bacteria because they passed through bacteria proof filters. M. W. Bijarinak, in the year of 1898, demonstrated that extract of the infected plants of tobacco could cause infection in healthy plants and called the fluid as contagium vivum fluidum. Contagium vivum fluidum means infectious living fluid.
W. M. Stanley in the year of 1935 showed that viruses could be crystallized and the crystals consist largely of proteins. These are the virus crystals and crystals consist of largely of proteins. A virus is a nucleoprotein that is it has a protein called capsidus present and a genetic material RNA or DNA. No virus contains both RNA and DNA. The genetic material is infectious. That genetic material is infectious. Generally, viruses that infect plants have single-stranded RNA. Viruses that infect animals have either single or double-stranded RNA or double-stranded DNA. Bacteriophages, viruses that infect bacteria usually have double-stranded DNA. The protein called, they are known as capsid, made of small subunits, capsomeres, protect the nucleic acid. Capsomeres are arranged in helical or polyhedral geometric forms. Then what are the different types of diseases caused by virus? We have studied plant viruses are there, animal viruses are there, and some of the virus uh, infect the bacteria and they are known as bacteriophage, etc. Then what are the different types of diseases caused by virus? Here you can see in this photos, mumps, this disease is mumps, this is smallpox, herbs, influenza, AIDS, etc. are the examples of the disease caused by virus. And one more, in this pandemic season, we all know about the disease, uh, COVID-19. See? COVID-19. Do you know what this COVID-19 stands for? Coronavirus. Coronavirus disease 2019. This disease, this virus caused the disease Corona. Then do you know how this name come? Actually, this coronavirus is uh, single stranded RNA virus. They are single stranded RNA virus single standard RNA virus. Then this genome is COVID-19 coronavirus disease 2019 and this virus is a single stranded RNA virus. And this genome is uh, pro surrounded by a protein. It is actually lycoprotein. That is lycoprotein envelope. So lycoprotein envelope means what? It is made up of lipid and protein. Lycoprotein envelope. This lycoprotein is made up of lipid and protein. When looked under electron microscope, this protein cord or this rim, which are found around the uh, genetic material, look like or appears as the corona of the sun. That is why it is known as coronavirus. Okay, so uh, these are the 
diseases caused by virus then while talking about this corona virus that uh, we all know what about its symptoms mainly that cause respiratory infection then they develop signs and symptoms including mild respiratory symptoms fever etc what about the viruses which cause diseases in plants the symptoms can be mosaic formation leaf rolling curling yellowing and vein clearing dwarfing and stunted growth all these symptoms we can see here tobacco mosaic virus this is the bacterial phage so if you go through this photos tobacco mosaic virus this is the uh, bacterial phage then capsids means these are the protein coat this is the genetic material or genome and the different shapes we can see this bacterial phage influenza virus uh adenoviruses tobacco mosaic virus etc uh, the structure of corona virus is not here okay next is viroids what are viroids it is also an infectious agent with a free low molecular weight rna and no protein coat in the viroids there is no protein coat these are smaller than viruses and it is discovered by t o diener in 1971 he found that it caused potato spindle tuber diseases potato spindle tuber diseases and these are viroid particles you can see here the next one is prions what are these prions have you heard about this yes they are abnormally folded proteins that cause some infectious neurological diseases these are similar in size to viruses it causes bovine spongiform encephalopathy or mad cow disease in cattle what about humans prions cause a disease that is cr jacob disease or it is cjd in humans this disease is otherwise known as creutzfeldt creutzfeldt jacob disease no do you know what is the symptom of this disease we have studied it is a neurological disease actually uh, creutzfeldt jacob disease affects the brain and uh, the studies tells it lasts for 2 years and after that the patient die with pneumonia disease so prions are abnormally folded proteins that cause some infectious neurological diseases these are similar in size to viruses and among cattle it makes a disease named bovine spongiform encephalopathy bse or mad cow disease in cattle and among humans that is known as cjd cr jacob disease or creutzfeldt jacob disease next one is the last category lichens actually these are symbiotic associations so that is where they are not uh, grouped in separate uh, part in the five kingdom classification actually kingdom uh, 
they are coming under or they are the association of mutually useful association between algae and fungi algae means they are coming under kingdom plantae fungi means they are a separate kingdom fungi so the algal component is called the phycobiont they are autotrophic and fungal component is mycobiont they are heterotrophic phyco phycology deals with the study of algae mycology deals with the study of fungi so the name comes phycobiont and mycobiont so here you can see uh, in this picture the presence of lichens this these are lichens this white part it is actually a mutual association between algae and fungi algae prepare food for fungi and fungi provide shelter it provides shelter as well as absorb mineral nutrients and water for its partner lichens are very good pollution indicators they do not grow in polluted area yes if there is lichens are found that means it is there is no any pollution at all okay this is also very important okay students today what all things we have studied general characteristics of kingdom plantae kingdom animalia then about virus viroids prions and lichens so we have completed the first lesson okay students that's all about today's class thank you for watching this video